By using filters inside of Handbrake, what you can also do is you can go ahead and denoise out your video footers and sharpen up the footers as well. So to do that, I'm going to go around and load up a file. So I'm just going to go around over here onto videos right here. And then in the videos, let me just go around and open up this ocean file right here, just like this. So now in order to apply the denoise and sharpen filter to, uh, to this, I can simply go around onto filter right here. And and here you can see that denoise is an option. So here you can see that there's different options right here for denoising right here just like this. So now uh, there you, you can see that there are two options as um, at this SQD and 3D which is um, much more simpler and faster right here. And then there's NL means right here, which is better quality, but slow encoding. So let's just go around over here onto this one. And then what happens is that you can see that there's presets right here as well. So there's strong, there's light, as you can see right here. Let's just go around onto strong. And let's say I want to tune in film or green and high motion, as you can see. So you can choose the type of noise that you want to remove. So let's say I want to remove green right here because this looks a bit like a green right here. So now I'm going to go around over here onto filter. And then one, what you can also do is you can go ahead and use unsharp right here to sharpen out the footage as you like as well. So you can see that there's a uh, two type of sharpen right here, just like this as well. So there's unsharp right here and there's lap sharp, which are different encoding met uh, uh, methods as well. So uh, now what you can do is you can go ahead and uh, you have to make sure that you use uh, this with a caution. So you don't want to go too much with the sharpen right here. Otherwise, it'll simply look noisy. So you can go for light right here and you can tune in so that you can go ahead and um, tune into foam sharpness right here or green sharpness or animation sharpness as you can see according to how you want. You can go ahead and experiment this out according to how you want. And now this is what you have right here. So if I were to go around over here now, I can simply go ahead and browse and save it to the folder where I want. So I'm just going to go around over here onto, uh, let's say for example, onto uh, videos right here and then I'm going to go around over here and then select out mp4 and type in denoise.mp4 right here and hit the save button. So once I do that, I'm simply going to go ahead and start the encoding process and then it'll go ahead and analyze out the video and try to sharpen it and then denoise that out right here. You don't see much changes right here, but um, uh, the changes are subtle but effective. So over here, if I were to go, you can see that this is the video that you have with the denoise right here. So now denoise and sharpen is here. And then this is the result that you got right here. It tried to go ahead and remove out the noise right here, just like this to make it much more smoother. And that is how you can utilize the denoise and sharpen filter as needed inside of Handbrake. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.